The lush green manicured grass and flowers at the Chingola traffic circle, overseen by a profusion of trees dotted by immaculate residential surroundings and pristine streets, herald systematic efforts to clean and beautify the district. This scenic site welcomes visitors entering the district from the southern part of the country, such as Lusaka and other copper belt towns. During the Zambia Consolidated Copper Mines ZCCM days, Chingola carved a reputation of being the cleanest town in the country, flaunted by the mine's corporate social responsibility programs through which roads and other social amenities were maintained. However, the privatization of ZCCM seemed to have gone with all the brooms to sweep the districts. Soon after privatization took effect in the late 90s and early 2000s, the district lost its cleanest town status partly because the municipality struggled to maintain the cleaning programs that were heavily supported by ZCCM. Following the launch of the C400 Township Road Rehabilitation Project by President Edgar Lungu, the local authority and government have rolled out a methodical plan to restore the district to its splendor. By 2016, I think Chingola had uh, very bad uh, roads and we used to receive a lot of complaints from our, our drivers and uh, pedestrians. But uh, we are very thankful to the Republican President, Dr. Edgar Chagualungu, for giving us these roads. Uh, we were given three contracts. One was uh, 5.9 uh, kilometers, which was from uh, Wokam to Chingola to Solwezi Tanov. This was done by China Geo. Then we were also given uh, 15 kilometers of road network, which was also done by Sino Hydro for township roads. Further, we were given uh, 48.9 kilometers of road networks which were done by AVIC and uh, I want to say that uh, the town has actually since transformed. A glide down the wide avenues shows that the roads have enhanced the outlook of the district. The central business district CBD is fairly clean such that one can literally count the number of liters on the ground. If you came to Chingola a few years ago you would have been shocked at the state of the roads at that time and government as usual took it upon itself to ensure that the people in Chingola deserved to have a better road network. Uh, if you know a bit of history about Chingola, you remember that it used to be the, known as the cleanest town in Zambia. And uh, it's quite self-evident now that it's slowly crawling back to that status. Chingola Mayor Titus Tembo says the roads are further helping to reduce the cost of running business for those in the transport sector. People are actually happy. Those who are driving, I think they are happy because now they are not able to buy, they are, they, they, their vehicles are actually lasting longer, they are not replacing their shocks like they were used to do. And apart from this, I think the connectivity from one town township to the other, I think has been made easy. Chingola's roads are very critical to the economic welfare of the country because they lead to Konkola Copper Mine KCM Changa Open Pit, one of the biggest open pit mines in the world. The district is also a gateway to the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, through the Kasumbalesa border, which is a key spot for commerce and trade. Faneo Sichirima is a cross border trucker. Mr. Sichirima says the tarred roads in Chingola have helped reduce travel time. Sometimes back, when we are moving from point A to point B, especially from um, K to A to Kasumbalesa, we used to take about uh, three, uh, two to three hours to reach that site. Now this time, uh, at least we are moving fast. This time, the company is not losing much more money uh, on the suspension accessories. But this time, at least uh, the, the, the expenses are minimal. And government will leave no stone unturned in its effort to improve the country's road infrastructure. This is why special assistant to the president for projects implementation and monitoring, Andrew Chela, was this time around in Chingola to appreciate the impact of the roads on the district's economic activities. As you may know, a good road network is a catalyst of economic development. The better the roads, the better the economy. When the roads have been worked on, 
it uh, brings in the private sector to also start investing in various business ventures. Evidently, the roads are facilitating for smooth passage of people, goods and services from one point to the other. Ben Tulisha, a bus driver, says the roads have eased the cost of doing business. <laughs> We are grateful for the good roads. At least now we are able to work without spending much on spare parts for our cars. And in residential areas, the streets look opulent because of the tarred roads. Street lights are also being installed. Apostle Ruth Mukonde is a resident here and is excited that the installation of street lights will enhance security in the area. It's really, really a pleasure for us Chingola residents, especially uh, me, myself in particular, who stays in Levonit Street. For some time we've been having some burglaries all over the streets because it was dark in the night. But due to the street lights now, we'll be able to sleep free, knowing that the because and the road network i tell you takuli nomba kula twala motoka from servicing from time and again apatule enda nomba very comfortable and mr chela says he is delighted to see an organized design of roads that leads to public facilities benefiting a lot of people with the current road network the hospitals the schools the business ventures are all being enhanced we've toured uh, Chingola with you. You've seen it for yourself what is happening in the townships. The roads are not only in high density areas or in CBD but they are also in low density areas so the entire Chingola has been carpeted with bitumous standard roads. Kabundi Road is a dual carriageway running from the civic centre to Kapisha Township. The road is well marked and has paved dedicated pedestrian walkways. The east boundary road also passes in key public facilities such as schools. Lamek Kayamba is a frequent user of this road. Nato terasa na kwe na paku tu pangira mata ma kina malaiti. Tuato terasa na pan tu tuare chula sana. We are very thankful for the tarred roads and street lights. We are now able to move freely even at night. Ah, amalaiti alia ka mata ma ki. Kwe na nato mo na nato tu otera. Penda tu reenda febu ino na nguvpe kula senda febu ino ngefine mbwe ni na kajinga. The east boundary road winds down to a rare five-way stop. The right turn on the southern part of the east boundary five-way stop is an inner driveway that goes to Kabundi East Clinic. The maternity wing at the clinic is an important facility to the community here. It was constructed in 2016 using Constituency Development Fund, CDF. Rosemary Kolombota works as a midwife at the clinic. She says in the past, the health facility faced challenges in moving patients to the center due to the poor state of the road. This time the road is okay. They have tied the road. So at least there is improvement in the movement of vehicles. And even the, the ambulance, at first we used to have problems. Now, this time, since with the tied road, at least we are referring our, our patients in a good road, there are no challenges. Chingola district is also a recipient of modern police houses. A visitor to the central police camp is welcomed by green and clean lawns. Bethel Yulu is one of the residents here. She passionately checks on plants outside the four bedroom upstairs house. Two of the four bedrooms are self-contained. The house also has two other extra toilets. Bethel is the wife to the officer in charge at Chuempala Police Station, who is the principal occupant of the house as part of his condition of service. I would like to appreciate our government for the tremendous job that they have done. As you can see, we are living in nice houses. You know, fresh hair, everything is nice compared to the last years where we are living in police camp. But now there's a change. We really so appreciate our government, our leaders, for the great job that they have done. And we hope so that other people also outside the district would benefit also as we have benefited. Mrs. Yulu says she and the family 
A grateful to government adding that one of the ways to show gratitude is to ensure that the houses are taken care of. You know when you are living in, an, in a, nice, a nice house, you are motivated, you know, to have timbers everywhere, flowers, so that, you know, you can live, you can live well. And Mr. Chela is delighted that the officers are looking after the houses very well. If you had to go to a police officer's house, most of them even had their, their bathrooms outside. They'd sleep in the house and have to walk outside at night to go to their to assess, to assess their bathrooms. But now, the standard of living of the, our men in uniform has really, really improved. If you take a look at those houses that we went to visit, that's a standard house anywhere in the world. It will pass as a standard house. And we are so happy about those particular houses because of the way the officers are actually looking after them. If you look at the landscaping, you would think that maybe there's one person who's actually looking after those lawns. But it's different individual homes that are looking after those homes. So for government, when government puts in so much money in infrastructure and then the recipients also show government that they do appreciate what government has done for them, it's very, very gratifying. One of the strategies of restoring Chingola to the cleanest town in the country was the removing of street vendors in the CBD and other public places. The council has so far built six markets to accommodate vendors removed from the streets together with other traders. We actually embarked on uh, building markets uh, in all the townships in the district so that uh, all these marketeers can be absorbed and start operating from these markets. And uh, by so doing, we'll be able to provide uh, very good, uh, or I should say conducive uh, uh, environment for them to trade in. When you move people out of the streets, from selling in the streets are the deterrent. You have to build markets. In some towns, which I won't mention, you find that they tend to move vendors out of the streets without providing an alternative. But in Chingola, it's different. We've actually provided an alternative for the marketeers to move into those markets and have an orderly way of conducting their business. It's quite unfair to move people from the streets without giving them an alternative to go and carry out their, their business. We visited three of the six markets. The first stop was at Kabundi East Market, works at the trading facility which also comes with an ablution block were funded from the 2017 CDF allocation. The current market is dirty and scribbled with all manner of graffiti. Brenda Nakazwe operates here. She says she can't wait to move into the new market. I'm not saying I'm very market, but I'm going to Kabundi Market. We are grateful for the market. It's very nice. The current market is not ideal because we are surrounded by other traders and we don't make much sales. So, I want to know market. Market Secretary Edgar Sichone is equally thankful for the trading shelter. Mr. Sichone, however, made an appeal to President Edgar Lungu to look into possibilities of opening the market, accompanied with some empowerment incentives for traders. I'm very grateful to the government for the project that they have undertaken at this market of ours. And we pray and hope that the government will do this in all the markets that we have in Zambia. And uh, the challenge that we are facing here at the market is the lack of capital to some of the marketeers that we have. As you can see, some of them are just struggling. And, um, we want the government uh, to come in and uh, help uh, the marketeers that are struggling. The second stop was at Kabuta Market. Here, the current structure is visibly worn out. The iron sheets are rusty and the structural integrity of the building is generally compromised. The Chingola Municipal Council said they would demolish the structure once the new market starts operating. Jesse Chembe has been trading at this place for the last 15 years. Chilemba Market, located in Kapisha Ward 8, is the biggest of the six markets that have been constructed across Chingola. The market can accommodate 600 traders. On the western side of the facility is a modern ablution block. The ablution block has flushable and sitting toilets as well as showers. The female section also has nursing bays where mothers will be nursing their babies. 
Davis Mlenga is the Kapisha Ward 8 councillor. Wakateka na wabomba sana. Ukumonoko wati ino market watu pela. Nga one of the biggest market mwonomu Kapisha. The president has done a good job to construct this market. But I'm appealing to the president to come and commission the market so that the people working in makeshift stands can move. Lillian Mumba also thanked President Lungu for the market. Our makeshift stands are falling. When it rains, we have nowhere to seek refuge because we have no other shelter. Currently, people at Chilemba Market are trading from these makeshift stands made from carton boxes, plastics and planks. Most of the makeshift stands here are falling and are not conducive for human occupation. And beyond the gratitude expressed by some traders in Chingola concerning the new markets, another message was consistent and clear. Most of the traders appealed for empowerment to boost their businesses. And Mr. Chela pledged to forward the traders' plea for empowerment to the relevant institutions. The government has taken the first step, which has been to provide shelter for them so that they can conduct their business in decent surroundings. The next one now will be to assist them in terms of their personal business and giving them uh, empowerment. Empowerment also cannot be given across the country. It has to be systematically applied. So we've had the appeal, and they're going to appeal to the relevant empowering uh, agencies which have come on the scene who can assist them with that. The Chingola Municipal Council emphasizes that all the infrastructure developments in the district are a milestone to reclaiming the status of Chingola as the cleanest town in Zambia and to further uplift the living standards of its people. And when night falls, the town glitters and glimmers because of the solar streetlights installed on most roads. The streetlights not only enhance security, but also add to the beauty of the surroundings. With government's consistency and dedication to improving public infrastructure and service delivery in the district, Chingola, like an eagle taking its flight of rebirth, and like a phoenix rising from its ashes, will rise again as the cleanest town in Zambia.